On a chilly night at the Topaio Stadium, the Tigers welcomed the Rhinos in an eagerly anticipated matchup between two talented sides. Both teams were looking to bounce back from disappointing defeats, both dealt from one team, Tampanese Rovers FC. As all football matches go, only one team could go on to win it, and it was the home side, Valestia Calza, that emerged victorious in a fixture which could have truly gone either way. It was Valestia Calza that started the game strongly, questioning the Warriors' defense very early on. The Warriors' defense, however, held strong and prevented early goals effectively. However, even the thickest of armor can be penetrated, as Balestia Khalsa punished the lapse of concentration from the Warriors' back line to score the first goal. Muhammad Ruhaizad bin Ismail, the player bearing the iconic number 7 jersey, was the scorer of the goal, benefiting from a cheap little one-touch pass from Chang Hee Bong. He then took it past the last defender and without a hint of panic, stroked it into the back of the net. The goal served as a wake-up call for the Rhinos as they toiled tirelessly to break down Balestia Khalsa's defence by fashioning chances of their own, even hitting the crossbar. However, Balestia Khalsa were ruthless in their counter-attacks, prompting the Warriors to sit deeper to prevent any more goals from being conceded. In stoppage time of half-time, Balestia Khalsa seized on another opportunity as Mohamed Ruhaizad found the ball at his feet, just outside the penalty box. He then pulled off a defense-splitting pass that found its way to Park Kang Jin, who hit it hard and low. Hassan Sani, the Warriors goalkeeper, did manage to get a hand on it, however, it wasn't enough as it rolled in to give the Tigers a two-goal cushion before the half-time whistle was blown. As the second half resumed, the Warriors came out a much more rejuvenated side as they pushed for the goal that would open the game up again. Their passes and attacks were sharper as they forced the Tigers back. Unfortunately for the Warriors, they could not find purchase against the stout defence of the Tigers even with their relentless attacks and shots from range as they were defeated from the two goals scored in the first half. I thought it was absolutely superb. Um absolutely magnificent. I don't think there'd be anyone here that would think otherwise. Um, it's just a pleasure pleasure to coach and uh, tonight they showed a, a tremendous character to come back. You know, we're beaten by a quality club in Tampanese in the last minute and they picked themselves up and, and got on with the game tonight in outstanding fashion. Uh, they're a tremendous bunch of people. Okay, first half uh, we considered to an early goal. And uh, no excuse, you know, players are running off the ball, we failed to track and lost a bit of concentration. It was a case of uh, first five and the last five in the first half. La. We considered both goals in that period. La. So probably it's just a loss of concentration. La. Other than that, I believe we created enough chances in the first half. We even hit the bar. Uh, so if that had gone in, it would be a bit a uh, different situation. You know. In the second half, yeah, we came back quite strongly. We were so much better than the first half. Uh, created a few chances, just failed to score. You know, if we have if we have just got that first goal, uh, it would have been it would have been two one, and situation would be different. And you know, we will be you know, lifted, the morale will be lifted, and we'll be coming back strongly. You know. So overall, I think uh, we had a better second half. Credit to uh, Ballester, they hang on uh, to their two goal lead and uh, and won the game. Now.